Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam amma ba'd. Ayyallah habbiti fillah. Give glad tidings to the strangers. And the strangers are those who practice the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and stay adherent to the minhaj and nabuwa. That they adhere to the methodology of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and the prophets before them. And that they call to tawheed, they call to the oneness of Allah azza wa jal. And they benefited their people. And this is what we want to do. And we ask Allah the, uh, the Almighty to forgive us of all of our sins and bless us with ilm al nafiya, ruskin taybu, amal al mutakabilin, and ikhlas with the bad al sunnah, ameen ya rabbil alameen. Ahabatifillah, in one beautiful hadith of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, we find. That prophetic guidance and that we should strive our best to be sincere to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and be of those who are adhering to our Islam. As we see, we live in a time where Islam is very strange. And to be a Muslim, especially in a non-Muslim country, can be very difficult to practice your religion, to stay away from evil, to enjoy the good, and just to even have istiqamah, just to be straight, can be difficult because you're challenged with so much and you're tested with so much. An Abi Hurairah radiallahu ta'ala anhu marfu'an bada islam gharibin wa sayu'udu gharibin كما بدأ فتوبة للقرباء رواه مسلم. In this hadith in Sahih Muslim, it was said that the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم attributed to the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم that Islam began strange and it shall return as something strange, similar to the way it began. So give glad tidings to the strangers. And in another narration, Sahahu al Imam al Albani, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, Al Ghuraba al Adina Yuslihuna Ida Fasid al Nas. That the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Described in Fasarlana Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam Menhum al Guraba. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam explained to us who are the Guraba? Who are these people that we should give glad tidings to? Who are they? The, uh, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Al Guraba, the strangers, are those who rectify the people after the people have spread wickedness. Or made things wicked. That's the duty of Ahlul Sunnah. It isn't sufficient for us to claim the Sunnah of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and not practice. And it isn't sufficient for us to give ourselves titles, say we're Salafi, say we're this, say we're that, and our practice is weak, and our Iman is weak, and we spread more wickedness than Ahlul Bid'ah. And we spread more wickedness min ahl kufr. So, so this is what we have to be aware of, ahabatifillah. That we must do our best to be on istiqamah. To be sincere to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And be of those strangers by adhering to the Quran and the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And the madhab of the salaf. In all aspects. In our manners. In the way we deal with people. In our behavior, 
in our methodology for understanding and giving dawah and in our creed first and foremost and most importantly all of those are aspects of the deen and all of those are criterion to be one of those strangers so adhere to your islam i know it's difficult but do your best and allah will reward you for doing your best you cannot do anything better than your best. So strive to be the best and seek forgiveness often from Allah Azza wa Jal. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.